Here's some examples for us to learn how to use the rules of exponents. So starting out with some negative exponents in the numerator and denominator, how do we simplify these examples? Well, first of all, here we have 4x to the minus 3 power. The minus 3 power only applies to the x, does not apply to the 4. If we also want the minus 3 to apply to the 4, we have to put parentheses around the 4x, kind of like what we did over there. So in this case, it only applies to the x, so this can now be simplified to 4 over x to the positive 3 power. And so again, simplify typically means getting rid of all the negative exponents. And that's as far as we can simplify that one. Here, same thing. This only applies to the a, not to the 5, and not to the negative. So this can be then written as minus 5, which stays in the numerator, divided by a to the positive 2 power. So that's how we simplify that one. Here, the minus 5 applies to everything inside of parentheses because we have parentheses around it, so this can now be written as 1 over the whole thing, minus 3b to the fifth power. So now that becomes a positive 5 power. And yes, we could apply that to what's inside. So this can be written as 1 over negative 3 to the fifth power times b to the fifth power. And because a negative 1 to the fifth power is still a negative 1, because that's an odd power. We can say this is equal to 1 over negative 3 to the fifth power, b to the fifth power, and that's as much as we can simplify it. Okay, over there we have something that's slightly different than what we saw before. Here we have an even negative exponent. You can see how that changes things just a little bit. First of all, since we have parentheses around this, it, the, the negative 2 applies to everything inside the parentheses, so we can write 1 over negative 5x to the positive second power. And now we realize that this negative 2 applies to the negative, um, I'm sorry, the positive 2 applies to the negative, the 5, and the x, so this can be written as 1 over negative 1 to the second power times 5 to the second power times x to the second power. Of course, I don't have to write it like that, but just to illustrate it, that this negative is indeed separate from the 5, and if this is an even exponent, it does apply to the negative, we'll make that a positive number. So this can now be written as 1 over 5 squared times x squared, and of course, we could write it as 1 over 25 x squared if you want to do that, but at least that's how you apply the rules. Moving on to the next one, here we have a 2 to the minus 3 power in the denominator. Just as we saw before, we can move that to the numerator, turn it into a positive exponent. So this is equal to 2 to the positive 3 power, or 2 to the positive 3 power is simply 8. Next example, we have a negative exponent in the numerator and a negative exponent in the denominator. So we can do, apply the rule at the same time for both the numerator and the denominator by switching the x and the y. So this can now be written as a y to the positive 4 power in the numerator divided by an x to the positive 2 in the denominator. And finally, our last example, notice that the x to the minus 3, the minus 3 only applies to the x, not to the 5, so the 2 and the 5 stay where they are, just the x changes, so this becomes 2x to the positive 3 power divided by 5. Notice only the x is affected, and we move the x to the numerator to turn that into a positive exponent. And that's how you simplify expressions like this with negative exponents. All right, so more examples coming up.